Hey there, I'm Ryan with Storyblocks, and in today's tutorial, A Beginner's Guide to Advanced Tools and Techniques, Part 1 of 4, we're going to look at the basics of workspaces and panels so you understand what's going on when you open up After Effects for the first time or maybe the tenth time, but there's a lot going on, so let's get started. All right, so when you open up After Effects, um, I'm in version CC 2015. Um, this is basically your workspace. Um, you have, you know, your all your tools, you know, camera tools, rotation tools, text tools. Um, they'll all be up here, um, which we don't need to talk about in this tutorial. This is just really about our workspace, setting it up, getting it to the most efficient um, you know, way that you need it um, for whatever it is that you're doing. Um, but just quickly, I'll just go through, you know, your project panel is here. Um, this is where you'll be importing all of your footage and media files. Um, any effect that you place onto your files will appear here, your control uh, panel for the effects uh, that you add. Um, in this area here, this is your, your pretty much your, your project timeline. Um, so all of your layers and media files and things will show up in this area here. Um, and then you move over to your workspaces, which um, right now I'm in standard. Um, you can always click uh, a workspace. Um, you can go to all panels um, where everything is listed. Um, you can uh, bring it back to standard. Um, I'll show you a couple ways to move these around, but if you ever lose a, a, a workspace panel, um, you can always find them up here. Um, they're all listed here and with the check mark it tells you that they're actively viewed at the moment um, and they show up right here. So um, let me just show you how to rearrange these. You can always uh, drag in between to get uh, your panels to be larger or smaller. Um, you can click and hold and then you can drag them down to another panel. Um, at the top it'll go right next to paragraph as you can see there. Um, if I wanted to drag it and place it to the left it'll move it to the left. Um, if I bring it back in and place it on the top it'll go to the top. Um, if I place it at the bottom it'll go to the bottom of the paragraph panel. So to get them together just place them together. Um, to move them apart you place it in the bottom and it'll make a new panel for you. Um, once you get your panels uh, set up in the fashion that you like, um, you can save it and keep it um, for as long as you want. So let me show you how to do that. So let's just say, for instance, that this is the way that you want it all set up. Um, we'll move character back into this area. Um, and then we'll go up here and we will click New Workspace. We will type in um, our new workspace, hit OK, and it'll be listed here. So um, if you ever say um, that, you know, you had received a file and it didn't look the same way, um, let's just switch it. Let's go to effects. Let's say it looked like this. Um, you can always jump back in and find your workspace. And there it is. If for some reason that all of these got closed out, um, or just didn't quite look the way that you thought it should, um, you can always go back now and you can go to reset and it'll go back to the original way it was when you first created it as a new one. And you say yes and there it is. It's all back the way you wanted it. If for some reason you don't want the workspace anymore, you want to delete it because maybe you have too many workspaces or you just don't need it anymore, as long as you're not using or viewing this workspace, so for instance, let's go to motion tracking, I can go to delete workspace and then choose one that I'm not viewing, which would be our workspace, our new one. You hit OK, and now it is gone. So it won't be there anymore. Um, so that's pretty much how you can create and set up a workspace that's uh, good for you and what you need it for. Um, so yeah, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, stay tuned to the next one, uh, part two, which will be uh, motion tracking. Um, I'm Ryan, and this is Storyblocks, and I'll see you later.